afternoon quick video to <clears throat> expose a vulnerability in the Ford Transit Custom Euro 6 this is a pre delivery um, um, you know it's not been um, not been cleaned or prepared for use but it's Euro 6 you can tell because it's got this pocket and amongst other features but um, that's the quickest way of telling so right double lock the van van is locked I'll leave the key here so you can see I'm not doing anything um, yeah this has got the uh, software patch applied which the software patch which for release which what it's supposed to do is shut down the uh, the van from unlocking off the key physically mechanically nice little software patch what it's supposed to do is shut down the unlock command from the van sorry from the key um, basically stop it unlocking the uh, the van mechanically it's also supposed to disable the buttons in the dash um, so I've locked this van now for about 30 seconds to a minute we'll leave it a bit longer I've just um, I always test the van every van I work on I always test the locking before I commence work just to expose any problems that might be there and work around any <coughs> security patches that I need to to apply so I've deadlocked the van which is two clicks on the lock button it's been locked for about a minute now right so the sim simulating an attack someone goes in it's unlocking the door, but it's not unlocking the rear. Brilliant, that's fine. Security patch working, so let's have a look. Back door is locked. Okay, there's no jiggery poke through here. This is uh, both keys pre registered. Let's try that again. Left is unlocked. That's great. Security patch has worked. <coughs> if the patch hasn't been applied, then that doing that will open all the doors you'll see the indicators flash which means that the central locking has been activated and unlock the back so let's mechanically open the door there's no alarm in this van it's a base model the easiest way to tell is the interior light will have two ultrasonics so buttons are disabled oh hang on that didn't sound like <coughs> it did what it should oh that's a bit of a fuck up. <clears throat> this software patch is supposed to shut down the buttons. Um, I waited well over a minute. It must have been two minutes of me waffling on. That shouldn't do that. That top button should not work. After a minute of locking it with the remote. After a minute of locking it with the remote, it's supposed to. So what's that? Three minutes, 25 I started it. It's supposed to shut down the buttons. I'll do it again. Sorry to bore you, but um, this is quite important, really. Um, it seems that the security patch has been applied, but it only half works. So if the barrel is snapped, I'm here today to fit alarms to this. I've got to do seven of them. I ain't going to do seven alarms in a day, but um, he's having ref locks on them. I'm going to disable the um, this wire, and I might even remove the buttons off the back. The, uh, the wire off the back of the buttons which will stop this I'm surprised because you know one of my mates down south Jeff from Sussex Installations he pointed this out the other day um, I've noticed that the software patch also hasn't been doing what it's supposed to do Jeff's done a little video on it um, this fan hasn't got an alarm on it so right it's been on hang on 4 minutes 25 4 minutes 26 it's been over a minute now all right, so simulate a snap, yeah. Door opens, these buttons are supposed to be shut. That near it, that's open the back. That didn't, that didn't need me pressing it 10 times. I didn't need it, I didn't need it, um, you know, messing around. I just literally opened the door and it opened the back. The buttons are switched on. That shouldn't work. I'll try the passenger side. Yeah, 
again, you can hear it, you can hear it clicking the relays in the box. That's open in the back and the side, obviously. Yeah, brand new van. This, these vans are being delivered on the uh, 9th of April. Um, he's brought seven brand new vans and he basically, my customer will not pay for the, the lock upgrade. He will not pay for the alarm. Uh, Ford pay for it, which is a great way of doing business, basically. This guy orders, you know, 10, 15 vans a quarter and part of the volume price he gets, he, he's bargained the deal that Ford pay for his lock and Ford pay for the alarm. So um, I won't say which dealer that is, but um, you can always try and ask that and you're bargaining tools if you're going to buy a new custom or a transit. There's quite a few here. Um, Carillion. Don't think we need any needs, are they? Um, yeah, if you're going to buy a new van, if you're going to buy a new transit, a new custom, it wouldn't um, wouldn't hurt to ask. If you're from the Midlands, you could say, Andy, we get from Vehicle Fit, we'll come out and sort the locks for me. Uh, if you agree to pay for them, then I'll buy the van off you. So yeah, if you want to give me a call to discuss any Ford security, it's Vehicle Fit 0330 010 0491 or 07900 60 50 40. So yeah, surprising vulnerability, which uh, I'm seeing quite a lot. Some vans, I did a, I did a Mark 8, sorry, a Mark 2 custom this morning, you know, the Euro 6, and that software patch did work. It shut the buttons down on the door, it shut down the unlock command on the back of the van. That worked for some reason. Um, this hasn't worked, it hasn't been applied properly, I'm not sure. It's, it's definitely been applied because that is an activated and essential locking, so that means that patch has been done. I'm wondering whether at the point of PDI, when they finally sort of deliver the van, they'll do something else to the software. But as it stands currently, if this van was delivered to you without the uh, rep lock and the Ford dealership told you the software patch has been applied, uh, this van is still as vulnerable as every single custom is from 2012 onwards. Um, yeah, get it sorted. Give me a call. Thanks for watching. Sorry I'm dragged on a bit, but um, I'm quite bored today, so I'm just waffling on. Cheers. See you later.